Hey guys, so I'm gonna film an um, unboxing video for you because I went to Givenchy today and I bought a pair of boots. Um, they're right there actually. But I need to like take a hit. <sighs> Full transparency. <laughs> like I just, I feel like I'm craving a hit. Yes, I am. Is that okay, babe? Yes, I'm craving a hit. Ooh. Yes, I am. Oh. Babe, what the fuck was that? I think it's okay. You're like supposed to be able to sit on the tub. I don't know why I just made that noise. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, okay, babe. So I bought these boots today at Givenchy. We'll do a little like story time, unboxing. I have a couple of other things to talk about too. Also full disclosure, we already know I cough when I smoke, so I don't wanna hear it, babe. Save the uh, comments for your mama. And I ain't your fucking mama. And that's not Megan Trainer. Ain't your mama. Day. I was live all day. You guys were with me, my JVs. We went to UPS to try to find like a solution because they basically lost a package that I shipped there. I had shipped a diamond chrome hearts bracelet at this UPS location and I literally packaged it in front of the employee and that was it. It never like scanned or moved or shipped and it's missing or stolen. I don't know how it went missing or who stole it. If it was stolen, I am not blaming the employees because I don't know and I have no proof of that. I'm just stating facts that I brought it to this location and that was it, now it's missing. So I don't know, babe, it sucks, but it'll get sorted one way or another. I'm also like kind of shook. I feel like I'm developing like a 10th chin. <coughs> I don't know how to explain it. <coughs> I don't know, I just, on certain angles when I'm catching my face, I have like extra fat here that I never had. And while I have gained weight in life, I haven't gained like an excessive amount of weight that I'd be developing a fucking triple chin. Um, I did just switch to hormone injection instead of the pills. So I'm like, is it that? Uh, I don't know. And that's a whole other fucking conversation we're about to have about the hormones and pills because I just want to like see if I have any like trans girls or people who are non-binary or people taking HRT that um, maybe just so we could all discuss because I know it's definitely different for everybody and it's very circumstantial like how what method is best for you, whether you're on pills or injection, um, tablets, which I'm, I don't really understand what a tablet is because I thought that tablets was pills, but it's not. And then there's like patches. So I've been on estrogen for a year and some change. And I've been on blockers, testosterone blockers, spirolactone, <coughs> pills for <coughs> like roughly five months, I would say. And I originally 
started with just estrogen because at the time I told my doctor, well, yes, I'm fully in the headspace, I'm ready, I'm transitioning. Based on my conversations with my doctor, I mean, listen, people do what they want, but he told me that there's very strong evidence in micro dosing over a long period of time, the hormones, versus starting day one with a high amount and just letting it rock. Of course, some people do that and are just fine. I'm just saying this is my experience. I'm not saying the way I'm doing it is right. I'm just telling you, like, my tea. Um, so that was about a year ago. I went with it. Over the year, I upped my estrogen like three different times. Um, and then a month ago, I was like, I'm in this, like, I've always been in it, but it is a very, it's a, it's a big thing to transition, and secondly, to medically transition, and you can transition with or without hormones, it, everyone has different opinions on that, personally for me, I, I feel I need the hormones, I want the hormones, and I'm so happy that I've been on them, I, for sure, there's changes to my body. There's changes mentally as well. Um, and it just, it's over time. It's not like a one night thing that it, everything just shifts. And I switched to the injection of my estrogen last week. <coughs> <coughs> I have no problem blood work, STD tests, IVs, um, needles, Botox, lip filler. I've never had a problem with needles ever, but to administer <coughs> your hormone injections, <coughs> my doctor does not have an option where I can come to the clinic once a week and they'll do it for me. It's on me. Like, I have to be able to do it. So, the I had my first hormone shot like five days ago, about. No, that's a lie, like three days ago. And part of that um, appointment, it was a training with a nurse where they teach you how to administer your own shot. Um, so people get their, um, hormone shot, I think, in either their thigh or their arm. I don't know butt or stomach if that's a thing. I'm not sure, but, um, he asked me, where would you rather inject it? And I was like, here, my thigh. Because that seemed like the easiest. I was like, okay, well, I can sit and I can squeeze the fat like this. And then... <coughs> <coughs> inject. <coughs> so, again, no problem with needles, nothing. Doing your own shot is a whole nother, like, ballgame. I was like, whoa. So he showed me, I have everything right there, but I don't want to touch it because my hands, I would need to like wash them. It's like needles, it's all wrapped, but I want to like be, I'm like smoking, I don't want to touch it. I want to like keep it sterile. Um, so he showed me, I got like a one inch gauge needle, which I believe is what goes in Z body. I got like alcohol prep pads, um, then like a wider gauge needle that is what's used to siphon out the estrogen. And then the estrogen comes in like this cute little bottle. Um, my merch on my website, jgottleads.com, that's been out for like a year. The Estradiol Estrogen um, bottle, that's actually my merch and it says J Pharmacy. It's so cute, but um, besides the point. Um, so I have all that stuff and he showed me how to do it, how to sanitize. So then you here and you'll see I have, can you see that? There's a bruise here and here. There's like two little bruises here and then one there. 
So right here, so then the estrogen, we had it like drawn. He showed me like it's in between this and this. So, you know, you have the right amount. And he was like, okay, so here's the needle. I don't know if I'm just like an idiot or I just never really thought about it, I guess. I don't know, like when I get blood work or anything, I give them my arm and I just don't look and it's perfect. You feel, it doesn't hurt. Like what I am the person who's like rolling my eyes at people like, oh, <laughs> but after this experience, I feel like I have developed a fear of like needles and shots and stuff, but I'm not allowing myself to, cause I'm like, girl, you have had no problem your whole life. And you are always judging people like, girl, it's not that hard, you're fine. And I'm like, I'm not gonna allow this to be a fear in my life because I'm just not. I just have to like, get the fuck over it. But so I took, I took it, he showed me how to do it. So you like squeeze your fat and this is the estrogen you're injecting. He's like, okay, so now here's the needle. So you hold the, the thing like regular, but then there's this much needle, babe literally like this much needle it's a small needle but there's this much needle bitch i don't i don't know i just never like i don't know i never thought about it i just didn't realize like like babe it's i don't even know like how to it's like a lot of fucking it's long it's like this much needle and you have to literally you squeeze and then you have to push all of the needle in your skin. This much needle in your skin. And I, I was like, wait, I don't know. Like, like, I don't know. I don't think I can do it. He's like, just do it. So I took it and I pushed and I got like, like that much in. And he's like, okay, now you have to push it in. I was like, like crooked. I'm like, wait, wait, I don't know. And I started to, and then I kicked my leg because I felt my fucking muscle made the weirdest twitch, like, feeling. And obviously, that's because I'm, like, jabbing my leg and just holding it there like a like, freak. And I like, pulled it out. <laughs> He's like, come on, come on. And he, I wiped again because obviously they don't have all the time in the world. Like, it's a nurse for the place. He's not... I don't have six hours to learn how to do this. It's like rude, I'm like taking up his time. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And I squeeze and I take it and I put it in again. And then he's like, okay, now push. And he's like, here, look. And he took his hand and he started going with my consent and he started pushing it. And I was like, oh my God. And I could just, cause I was thinking about it and it's going so slow. In my head, I could envision the needle going through my skin. And I could see it and I could feel it. And I, I was like, oh, oh my God. And I started to get really queasy. And I literally said, I'm gonna pass out. He's like, lay back, lay back, lay back, lay back. And I laid back and I passed out. And then I woke up and I was like, literally like dripping in sweat. And like, I was like, Whoo! like, oh my God. And it's not that it hurts, it doesn't hurt. It's just in your, like, like I'm thinking about it and it was setting me up for failure. I literally said, I was like, you're just gonna have to do it. And I have an appointment um, on Wednesday in like three days to get my next shot. And it's another training session. But my mom and my dad, or one of them are gonna come with me because I asked if they could do my shot for me once a week. Babe, there's just like no way. I want to be able to do it by myself. Like, I don't want to have to depend on anyone. Like, what if there's like a hurricane or like it's pouring or I don't want to leave. Like, I want to do it myself. I think in time I'll be able to. It's just really, like when you realize how much needle there is and you have to actually like physically push it in, it really is a gag. I don't know. Like, I have no problem getting any needle or blood work shot. Nothing. <laughs> This was so fucked. Okay, now we are gonna open this. So it was such a good um, experience. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have like any like products on my hands. Cause you can see my hair looks wet, right? Well, it's dry. I um, am doing the Chris Appleton method, the two color wow products. And that's how I like looks wet like this. And I love it but it, it's like an expensive hairstyle to do 
for me it's okay because it's a wig so it's just gonna stay like this but you I you have to use the entire bottle it took the whole bottle this is also the 28 inches no layers hair so there's a lot of hair but it took the entire bottle and then some. I ended up going back and I bought like seven bottles while I was on live. Cause I was like, well babe, I need to have like enough. Like what the fuck? It's like one bottle for a hairstyle. And it's like $22. The bottle, it's called Color Wow, like pop and lock, I think. But I could be lying. And it has like glitter in it. And it's like, I don't know. Like, mousse doesn't work on my hair to make it look wet. I've tried. It just dries. So this is the box. It's, like, such a little box because it's not, like... Like, I bought those shoes at um, Balenciaga, um, like, a month ago. Those heel boots in my last... In the Ghani and Balenciaga unboxing. And that box is so big. And then the shark boots I got at Givenchy four months ago comes in that giant box. But it's because they're like tall. These are like little like booties. I never owned like a, a shoe like this. Like a like small boot like this. I don't know. I just am obsessed with shark boot style. And I know a lot of you don't like it. Not, not that you don't like Givenchy. You just don't get the style of shoe. But I think it's sick. I don't know. Like I am obsessed with my shark boots. And I'm always so upset because I want to wear them on like my walks when I'm live and stuff. But I'm like, girl, I'm not walking 10 miles for eight hours in heel shark boots. They're not uncomfortable. They're actually like the most comfortable shoe ever. But it's like a heel wedge. I'm not walking around all day in that. So this is the shark boot. This is actually a textured leather which I really like because it's more durable, she said. And also I can just feel that it is because the other ones are very like delicate. It's like a smooth, no textured leather. And just walking around in them, like out to clubs or bars or wherever will fuck them up. And that's more to the point. Like I don't want to walk around in these for hours or ruin them. Because if some of you remember from my live, those Balenciaga heels, I wore them to the New York MAG event that I did. Oh, we can talk about that too. And um, I wore them out, and then after we walked to a restaurant in them and did very casual, small walking, and I ruined them. I had to take them to a cobbler to get them fixed. They were fucked up. Like, the heel toe was fucked up, the back was fucked up, they, the leather was all fucked up. And I barely even went anywhere. I was like, what the fuck? But how, you can't tell me these aren't cute. Like they are, they're so cute. And they actually are semi like platformed, I feel. I don't know if that's considered a platform. Yeah, it is, see, look. Cause I was gonna say, they make me feel taller. See, there is like a small wedge to it, right? I have only tried them on at the store because I literally just opened them. I was so, like, discouraged when I, um, tried on the other ones at the store and they didn't fit today. But then I was like, you know what, let me try the shorter ones. And they are perfect. They're actually so cute. I like these. I'm so happy I got the short ones. I already have the tall shark boot heel. Granted, it's a heel, not a sneaker, but oh my god, these are giving. I wonder if you guys are gonna like them or not, because some of you hate everything I buy and wear. But, oh my god, see how tall they make me? I'm also so thirsty from smoking that I need, like... I hope my phone is charged. I have no idea what the battery is on. Aren't they cool? Yes and or no. Are they cool? Yes or no. They're actually like, I feel like I'm in a wedge. Are they cool, babe? I'm 
I'm very insecure, not in this moment, just in the last month. I feel very insecure currently because I've definitely gained weight. I mean, but I don't think enough that it grew my chin. <coughs> but I definitely gained weight for sure. And that's hormones, that's just seasonal, it's just fucking life, like growing up. But I just have to, I'm also like, I'm getting, I'm growing boobs. Like, I just feel very like, I'm basically, it sounds silly, I'm going through puberty and I'm fat. So. Do you like that? Let me show you like this. I'm probably not gonna edit this. I'm just gonna like post it. <laughs> Is the shark boot like that? Like, I think it looks good. They're in like a silly shoe. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I don't know. They're very cute. High heels when my titties. Dolce and Gabbana yo when my titties. Nikki loves a shark boot. She always wears the other ones. I have the, the heels. But they're cute, right? Like, how can I show you? I think they're epic. They're so cute. Let me get a thumbnail along here. Oh, let me show you the products too. So this is how I get my hair to look wet. Babe, look how much product it takes though. I bought so many. This is how my hair looks wet. It's completely dry, but it looks wet. And um, it's not greasy. It's like, it just feels good. High heels when my tippies. Dolce and Gabbana, yo, one, my titties. Um, okay, what else can I tell you guys about? So I did New York Mag, which um, went really good. I saw Ted Zarr when I was there, which was so, like, funny because I hadn't seen him since I had ripped up that rose that he gave me. And he had pissed me off because he wrote, like, oop. He wrote like, give me my rose back. Like, fuck off. Or he wrote like, I want the rose back. Like, as a joke, obviously, but it's not funny. But then I saw him at the New York mag thing and um, we like made eye contact and I was like, oh my God, hey. And it was so fun. Um, I met a lot of cool people there. Anthony Pamba was there, um, who I love. I know you guys do too. Um, Charles Gross was there, Kit Keenan was there, Audrey Peters was there. There were a lot of like cool people there. Um, honestly though, I did not know half of them. And I was like, all right, now I know why they fucking asked me. Cause before I had gone, I was like, wait, why are they asking me to do this? Cause I'm not actually like that, like big on social media. But once I was there, I was like, oh. Like, they really were 
going for like this level of a creator. Um, but I was so happy to do it. Oh, let me show you. I have six of them. I bought six of them. And I love the um, way it turned out. Like, you know, that could be scary. Like, what if I looked like bad in it or something? Wait. Ooh. Okay. So this is the magazine. And this is like a little page that has all of our like names and um, our ads. I'm really excited because they actually like tagged us in it. Like they put our um, username. So it says, J at J Gottlieb, bewitching downtown live caster. Isn't that cute? Right here. Like imagine they spelled my name wrong or something. They didn't, but imagine. And this is the magazine. And I am right here on the right. Remember we bought those boots um, the, like, like a day before this shoot or two days before at Balenciaga. I was like, girl, you better get those fucking boots in the picture. But it's iconic and I'm really happy I did it. Oh, also good news. The CPS case is closed. Um, they closed it like two weeks after it was opened because obviously there's nothing to investigate because hello. I did not do anything. <sighs> what else do I have to tell you guys? CPS case closed, New York mag, new shoes, who dis? Um, oh, my hormone injections. Christmas is in a few days. It's not this week, it's next week. So that's exciting. I got this necklace as Swarovski and I love it. It always turns though, that's the back. I think it looks pretty good for being only 300. 300. 300. Um, and yeah. I need to like show off my boots one more time. And I hope you guys like these boots and don't hate them. I already know the comments, what they're gonna be. They're gonna say, that doesn't make your legs look good. This, that, and the other, but I like them. They're cool. I don't know. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna edit it, literally. I'm just gonna post it. Um, and cause that's how we do things around here. We do the bare minimum while um, just giving 100% naturally. Cause I just naturally can give 100% without having to like make it a thing, you know? Am I giving? I'm kind of giving. Hey guys, it's Jay and I just got these new shoes. Thumbnail, again. Okay, I love you guys. I love my YouTube channel. I did not abandon you guys, it's just been a minute. But um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys.